In October, Apple is releasing a new photo taking mode for the iPhone 7 Plus, portrait mode. Now, I've been trying it out a couple weeks in advance, and today we're gonna find out what it's like. So, as you probably know, the iPhone 7 Plus has a new dual lens camera system. Now, one of the lenses is the same wide angle lens that you would find on an iPhone 7, but the other lens is a telephoto zoom lens. Now, what this allows you to do currently is basically exactly what you would think. It allows you to go from a wide angle lens to a zoom lens. But in October, there's going to be a new mode called portrait mode. And what this does is it sort of mimics the depth of field effect that you see in a lot of high-end DSLR cameras, like the one I'm using to film this video. Basically, the subject of your photo, like this cat, would be in focus, and everything in front or behind of the cat would be blurred. So you may be wondering, how is this possible? Well, portrait mode uses the telephoto lens by default, and then it uses the wide angle lens to get depth mapping, basically figuring out how far everything is away from the focus point, from your subjects basically, and that'll determine how much blur to put on the photos and where. Now in my experience, I have found it to be a little bit slow in figuring out what needs to be in focus and what needs to be blurred, and sometimes the blur kind of creeps into what I'm trying to focus on, but you know, after a while, after I take a picture a couple of times, it can usually figure out what needs to be in focus and what doesn't. Keep in mind also that I'm using beta software, so the actual release version will probably be better. Now I should point out that the depth mode only works on subjects that are a certain distance from the camera. So if you're trying to do real, real macro photography where you're getting really close and getting a lot of depth of field effect in the background, this is probably not the best for that. So what I'm gonna do now is give you guys a little montage of some of the photos that I took with portrait mode on. They're not particularly fantastic. I don't think any of them are of people, but they do give you a good demonstration of the subjects being in focus and the background and foreground being blurred. And whenever you take a portrait mode picture, it saves one with the depth effect and one without. So I'm going to switch between those to show you guys the difference. So thanks guys for checking out this video. Make sure you check back this weekend for another video. I'm gonna be taking a look at a smartwatch. It's gonna be pretty exciting. As usual, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Luke Miani and make sure to leave a like and subscribe to support my content. I'll see you guys, I guess, tomorrow.